Ashley, I can't tell you how beyond excited I am at having this conversation with you today. You're someone that I've had the blessing of working with actually a couple years ago now, more than a couple years ago. And you've been such an inspiration to my work and, and just to, to people around you, of course. But uh, I just want to just, uh, touch base with you and talk a little bit about your process and, and what led you uh, way back then to say, I want to work with, uh, with me. So it's what, 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 what was going on in your life when you decided to reach out to me that prompted you to say, hey, I, I need some help in the law department. I'm not getting what I want right now. Mm -hmm. So I think I came in contact with you, it was three or four years after my husband had passed away. Um, I think it was four years. Um, my, my husband was the love of my life. Um, he died in military service and I had entered back into the dating world and um, really uh, did not realize it, but my heart was really closed to, op to, to opening to love again. So I had experienced some really unhealthy relationships, really damaging relationships, and um, was just in a place where, uh, quite frankly, I didn't I didn't think that love was possible for me anymore. I didn't think that I'd ever again know great love. I thought that Jack, my late husband, was the love of my life and that, that I, that's what I would settle for. Hmm. That's powerful. And here's uh, what, <laughs> <laughs> what I know that when we connected, one of the things that we really worked on was uh, you experiencing that love as a continuous experience, not just something that had gone, but I, I'd love to hear for you, what were maybe two or three of the biggest distinctions or breakthroughs that you experienced as a result of this work that allowed you to open your heart again and uh, go out in search of love, big love again? So one of the the biggest breakthrough, and I share this with people all the time, uh, we did an exercise on the, the lies that we buy into and that we live into. And for me, that lie was that I would never again know great love, uh, that Jack was the love of my life, and um, that was it for me. And through work with you, I uh, was able to see that Jack's love was with me always. It remains in my heart. It, it fuels me. It sustains me. And I would have the opportunity to know even greater love. My heart was big enough to open and accept even more love into my life. And just shifting to that realization, shifting to that knowledge, um, it opened up the world for me. I mean, it, it allowed me to, to envision the possibility of something greater, something big, something life-changing, like a transformative love that, that I'd have the opportunity to know it again. That's so, so powerful. And uh, one of, I, mean, I, I talked about it with you last time we connected. There was a moment when we were talking about this. It's almost like this, I could just feel it. I could just, I was like probably the second time you and I spoke and I just saw that spark reignite inside of you. And mm -hmm. it was so powerful to see how you went out and just made it happen. Not, not only made it happen, but shone from a different place. Uh, tell me what that experience was. Uh, like it was, <laughs> yeah. It was. It was beyond me. It was tapping into it. My the the power of the heart, the power of love that I didn't even know that I, I still possessed. Um. Uh. Yeah. I believe it was our second time working together. We did an exercise in gratitude, and uh, that's another like transformative moment in our walk together, Burn. Uh. Where we did this, um, meditation where we called up the moments of profound gratitude, and. Um, and kind of the depths of my sorrow, I was able to experience, not just in a, in a visualization, but a whole body experience, the joy and the gratitude and the love that I felt in each of those moments that I called up. And then I was able to draw upon that in just my day to day. And that, that changed everything. I, I went to Whole Foods, I've told you about this, <laughs> the morning after, and some random man, an older guy, just told me, man, you look radiant. <laughs> and that was, that's because, something within me had opened up and the gratitude, the love, like you're right. It was just a complete shift. And it, it was just through that, that simple exercise, but so powerful. That's, that's so beautiful to hear from you. And, uh, I remember browsing through Facebook. It's like, this is witnessing the whole thing happen. First, I see that you're in Paris and you're getting this ring. And mm -hmm. then I see that this amazing wedding pictures, uh, of you, but tell me, so tell me about, the man that is your husband now and this great love that you found, tell me more about him. <laughs> oh my gosh, there are not words. So um, the man that I am now married to, the the next love of my life or uh, the love of this chapter of my life, um, he was a close friend throughout um, 
throughout our work together, Bird. Um, he was watching me in these damaging relationships, um, and I was opening up to him more and more um, as as my heart opened. And in one of the exercises that we did, we kind of talked about values that that are essential for someone that I would enter into a relationship. Um, and as we got to spend more and more time together, I realized, oh my gosh, this, he's got all these values. He's right here in front of my face. And it, it was so funny. I mean, for all the work that I'd done, I still, I still was, there was still fear there. Um, it didn't er eliminate all of that in an instant. And so uh, we, we talked about dating some, and then I'm like, no, but we're friends. No, but we work together. No, but, no, but, no, but. And I, I let this back and forth go on for really too long. Um, but eventually uh, the idea of hope and uh, the idea of love won out. And um, I just opened my heart to letting this man and this amazing man who'd been a supportive friend for uh, so long in my life. And um, everything changed. Uh, gosh, I can't even tell you. Um, I, the, the joy that fills my heart burn and the love that surround, fills and surround me, his love and the love that we share together and the love that we're building together, like it's uncomparable. It, it truly is. Um, and, and it truly fulfills that truth we talked about earlier that the the joy that I've known is always, or the love that I've known is always with me, and I'm, I'm bringing even more every single day. I'm bringing even more love into my life. Mm. And then I get this message that uh, that you're having a baby, <laughs> <laughs> and it happened in, a, in a, just like the other ones, where you have this beautiful bring in Paris and this amazing, like just dream wedding. Uh, I see uh, a man, the love of your life, who goes into the he climbs Kilimanjaro to reveal that uh, it's a baby girl. So tell me, tell me what that experience is like for you now to be able to give birth to to this new bright being. You know? Uh, yeah, it's it's indescribable. For some time after Jack's death, um, I really contemplated the idea of being a single mom, figure out a way to make that happen. Cause I thought, well, maybe, maybe a child will be the next love of my life since I'm not going to find that in a man any, any ever again. And now that I found this amazing love and stepped into this amazing love with my husband and we have the opportunity to, to bring into this world, a beautiful baby girl. Gosh, um, <laughs> there, there truly aren't words. Um, just so excited. Um, uh, I feel even more love within me and surrounding me. I, I truly am in the midst of a miracle. And it all started with just opening my heart like, through the work that we did together. <laughs> and the last question I have for you is there's going to be women who are watching this, who are on the verge of doing something that is scary. And as I say to people, it's not cheap and it's not easy. It's actually pretty hard. But what would you say to those women right now who are finding themselves in a situation where they say, I really want to take that step, but I'm scared. Maybe it's not gonna work. Uh, I don't know if that's really possible. It seems too good to be true. Tell, tell, what would you say to someone like that? Well, first of all, I say I know where you. I know where you are. Um, I, in my first one-on-one -on -one with you, I, I, I felt the pings of hope and the little sparks of excitement. But I was a cynic. I, I didn't believe it was possible, and I, I didn't want to waste money. And I, I mean, there were so many things that were saying no, but no, but don't. It, it might, it probably won't work out. Don't get your hopes up. Don't, don't let yourself believe. Um, but let me tell you, like, you don't have a choice. It, it, it's so worth it. The life that you want, the love that you want, it, it's right there for you to reach out and grasp. It's, it's worth every penny. It's worth every effort. It's worth whatever you can invest into it. Um, I would, I wouldn't trade, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Burn, like you have been truly a lifesaver for me. You've, you've, shifted my whole story my whole my the whole truth that i were living in like you've shifted the story that i tell the, the story that i've lived into mm -hmm. thank you so much uh, and yeah, i'll say I, i'll say this uh right now i have the blessing of being in the best space i've ever been in in terms of my business you know financially and just in terms of growth and that was not always the case you know when i've gone through ups and downs and i know a few years ago times when it got really shitty and tough just thinking about how you stepped into it helped me so much helped me more than you'll ever know mm. so uh thank you so much for being here thank you for being a true example of possibility and for just being a source of light not just for your man and for the future 
baby that's uh, <laughs> right now about to, to come to this world, but for the people around you and for your community and for your church and for people who, who draw upon your example as an inspiration for, for what they can do in their life. <laughs> Bert, thank thank you. you so much. Thank you. Like, um, I tell people you're my love coach, my love guru, my life coach. Like you have been such a shining light in my life and my journey. Like you opened up my heart when I thought it was closed forever. I thought I thought that I, I was a shell of a person and you cracked that open and exposed a whole new world of possibility to me. Um, I can't say that I would, I know that I wouldn't be here without your guidance. So thanks for that and for sharing your heart and your motivation and Gosh, thank you for being here, Vern. Oh, thank you.